Hello everyone, welcome again to another test lodge tutorial. So in the last tutorial we have understood about the test plans in test lodge. Now let's go back to the testing life cycle diagram here. So we have understood about the requirement analysis uh, phase and how requirement module in test lodge maps to that phase. Then we have understood about the test plan, test planning phase. And we have a module in test lodge, uh, the test plan module in test lodge, which maps to this particular phase of the STLC. Now, uh, the next phase is around the test design phase in software testing lifecycle. Now, how do you manage your test cases into test lodge is basically through the test suite. So test suites are nothing but, um, you know, it's a collection of test cases so say for example you have 500 test cases you cannot uh, keep all those 500 test cases into just one particular folder so it's always better to categorize the test cases into different buckets and that's what test suite is all about so for example the ui test cases or say for example test cases related to the login functionality so you categorize all those test cases into a test suite which is the login test suite right or the registration test cases so you create test suite accordingly uh, so that you can categorize your test cases into those particular modules so that's what a test suite is all about so to create the test suite or the test planning phase you simply go ahead with the test suite so i'll create a new test suite in test lodge i'll provide the name so for example i'll say registration and then you have to choose the test plan right right now there is a test plan that we have already created so let me choose this master test plan which is the test plan the high level test plan for this particular project all right so now we have we are choosing this test plan so that we can correlate or there is a linkage between the test cases and the test plan because if you do not have traceability within your testing activities or within any of the development activities that you are doing then you won't be able to trace back what uh, work has been done and what work has been uh, is, is still pending when we go back to the high level requirement. So to have that linkage or traceability uh, is very important. That is why we need to trace or link the test plan to our test suite. So let me create the test suite as registration and then I'll create add test suite and you can see uh, test suite has been added and it is associated to, to the test plan that we have created for this particular project and this has you know one section so at the moment there are no test cases in this particular test suite now to add the test cases I can click on add uh, you know new test case and it will open the window to add the new test case now before that let me add a couple of more test suites okay so i'll simply go back to the test suite and click on new test suite and here i'll say login or i'll say login test suite all right and for registration i'll and then select the test plan let me rename the registration test suite so to rename i'll simply click on the ellipsis click on edit title and add test suite in front of it and save the changes when you edit you also have the option to change the test plan from the drop down if you want to change then if i go to the test suite again now in this registration test suite now i can add my test cases to this particular test suite right so you have the test plan then the test suite and the test cases and all these things tie back or they are traceable backwards so you have the test cases then test cases will be written only for a specific requirement right so test cases will be categorized into uh, the test suite which is the folder structure nothing but the folder structure if you have worked in previous you know um, the the tools like uh, quality center and all so you have the folders created as per feature and then your test cases within those uh, you know folders then those features were tracked back or linked back to the requirement 
right so here we are linking it back to the uh, test plan and then test plan is basically will be linked back to the requirement so we will get the traceability how everything traces back to the requirement all right now i'm in the registration test suite so now i'll start adding the test cases to this particular test suite so to start adding test cases simply click on new test case in that particular test suite so i'll simply click on new test case and then you will get this window open which is new test case so you can add a new or existing so if you want to if there are existing test cases that you want to pull in this particular test suite then you can simply click on existing and start searching for the existing test cases since we do not have any existing test cases i'll create the new test case now, if you see this particular uh, window here, uh, the key sections in this test case are the title, description, test steps, and expected results. And then you have this verifies requirement, so which is basically uh, the traceability that you will establish if once we link this particular test case to the requirement. So now, if we want to add a test case here, uh, so I have created some of the test cases, sample test cases, into the excel uh, file so i have created you know four key sections that are available in test logs as well so uh, the title description test steps and expected result so what i'll do is i'll simply copy these test cases so i'll copy the title into the title section so usually when you will start writing your test cases either you can write in uh, the excel file like this and then import later or the best approach is basically to open the tool and start writing within the tool itself so you don't have to basically import uh, the test cases within the account so i have since i have created these test cases into excel i'll simply copy and paste these test cases and in the test steps i'll simply copy the test steps let me remove this and then the expected result as well all right okay so now you can see that i have included the title description of the test cases uh, the test steps and the expected result now when we talk about the test case it's nothing but uh, you know the steps that you are going to perform on that particular uh, application that you are testing to verify certain functionality right so i have written that uh, user registration using google account so uh, a user should be able to register to rcv app using google account and these are the steps that need to be performed to uh, you know register using google account and what is the expected result as part of each step is mentioned in the expected result now because this test case verifies the user registration so there is a requirement user registration right in the registration module so i can link this particular test case to the user registration and now when we uh, link this test case to the user registration that particular requirement will have this test cases linked and we can ensure the traceability between the test cases and requirement if i want to attach any file to this particular test case or screenshot i can simply click on choose file and attach the file to add another requirement so at the moment you can see that i have added one requirement user registration say for example your test case is relevant to multiple requirement or two requirement or three requirement that are being covered by that particular test case you can simply click on add another requirement and select the requirement from the drop down okay so this is also applicable to the successful login so say for example i'll select successful login as well from the drop down right if i want to add another test case i'll simply check this box and click on add test case now you will see this test case got added successfully right it has two associated requirement and um, the test run stats if you click on view um, it will show the test run stats so since we haven't run the test case yet so it will be blank as of now will uh, now let me go back and add one more test case so quickly i'll add the test cases here and the description select the requirement and i'll uncheck this and click on add test case so now you can see i have added 
two test cases in this particular test suite. So user registration using Google account, user registration using Facebook account. These are two test cases that I have added as part of this test suite. And these test uh, cases are mapped to the requirement. Now, if I go to the test run stats, click on it, you will see that the test run is showing, but at the moment it hasn't been run at all. So not run, uh, passed, failed, everything has been shown as zero. Okay, if I go back to the requirements now and go to the registration module, you will see that this particular user registration has now two associated test cases, right? So this is basically, uh, you know, how the association will look like. And once you link the test cases, you can see that these test cases are being linked back to this particular requirement and within the requirement I can see what all test cases are being written to verify this particular requirement. So what this helps us to achieve is whether there are any gaps or there need to be any more test cases to be added as part of this requirement to be, you know, to, to make sure that the requirement is fully tested or tested in a proper way. So this ensures that we we are or as a tester when a test lead or test manager is reviewing the traceability or the coverage of the testing for a particular requirement then they can easily come to this particular uh, page and verify that the test cases are actually covering the requirement fully so that's all about uh, the test suites in uh, test lodge and how you can create test suite and then within those test suite how you can create test cases so what i'll do is i'll create uh, more test cases that are available in this particular sheet and then we'll go ahead and start learning about test runs in test lodge so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching